Uh, right, let's figure out what we're doing, boys. Let's have a look at some missions. Gold horse mining. We're doing the main stuff, I guess. Uh, factory reservoirs. A lot of stuff to Salmon Peak. Do we want to finish the stuff that's not to Salmon Peak and then do Salmon Peak? Or Any thoughts? Can't do the last one yet. Looking after your own medium logs. Are we finishing this factory reservoirs? Uh, that's a fixed. Yeah, that's a big Salmon Peak, Jobby. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's a good point I should mention. What kind of car does an egg drive? A yoke swagon. That's a terrible joke. Come on. <laughs> Are we really going there? Is yeah. that seriously where we're at in our lives? Is that Yo the best we've got? Do we need this on a Friday afternoon? A Yolkswagen? Yolkswagen, love it. <laughs> yeah, I fixed the um, the cabin bug that we had, if you remember, guys. It said that we need 15 cabins, uh, basically by editing a file. Let's just stop there. <laughs> Edited a Let's file and it fixed it. Um... So we've got to do this other stuff, which is cabins to Big Salmon Peak. We've done that. Uh, metal beams, metal pipes, concrete blocks, and bricks. Right. No, you only need medium which pipes. Which we only need pipes. Medium pipes. Yeah. What's on the top floor? An raging puppy with kebab and an infinite pool. <laughs> an, infin an infinity pool, not an infinite pool. An infinite... You can't have an infinite pool. Yeah, an infinite pool is a different thing entirely. Yeah. You need an infinite amount of water for a kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, the pool is a lie, as I demonstrated yesterday. It doesn't exist. It wasn't a lie. We just moved it because we knew you was coming, Paul. Mm-hmm. Wait, why do I see a lot of oil barrels on the map near the big Salmon Peak Gateway entrance? I think they're for a task. Yeah. They're up a hill, aren't they? Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so, how many pipes can we get on a platform? Can't remember. So, medium pipes are two load slots. We need three in total, but it's a bit more involved than that. Oh, I think we need to grab a load oh, of metal beams, oh, oh, head to the rolled factory oh, here, change them into rolls, take them to tasks. Big Salmon Peak, change them when into pipes, and then the only items one, three, and five were completed. Turned out he I don't know if you're cursed, Tommy, but every time you talk, somebody send a message uh, I, I, I wasn't paying attention if, if, if I make any more mistakes today I won't be entirely surprised it'll be fine it's not a mistake it's just a timing thing <laughs> anyway Nightbird says mom hired a handyman and gave him a list of tasks when he was done only items 1, 3 and 5 were completed turned out he only does odd jobs uh, but done see that's a bit better isn't it it's like, a little that's... bit better than Yolk's wagon yeah, yeah. um I'm thinking if we're going to go to um, Big Salmon Peak with the pipes, then maybe we can do a convoy and take some other stuff for one of the other missions because we've got to go to Big Salmon Peak anyway. Maybe. Yeah. Saves me messing around with logs. Well, sewage treatment requires um, lots of stuff to go to Salmon Peak, including two cabins by the look of it, which are already there. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't have anything done, else. We've done those cabins. Yeah. Yeah, just the medium pipes for this, the three of them. Um, okay. Where do we get medium pipes from? We've got to make them. Yeah. In Big Salmon Peak. Oh, we've got to make them in Big Salmon Peak. <laughs> So we need to take the beams oh, okay. from here, from the warehouse, up to the rolled steel factory, which is up that huge hill. Then take the rolled steel into Big Salmon Peak and then change the rolls into pipes. Woo! Um, well, another mission requires metal beams, so we just get, just get a load of metal beams and go for it then. What, you think in two eights? Should we go eight? You should, can go should, should we go can full go ham on this? If you want. Say again? I can go support if you want. We'll need support. Uh, let me park my log truck up then. Let's, let's go ham on this. You want metal? We'll give you metal. So 
super heavy trailer. Turn in circle hype. Happy Friday, Tech Tiger. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. What? 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 what wrong. What? Wrong warehouse. Okay. Does that mean we're backing up then from going down the road? That means we're backing up. Yeah. Through the garage again. Yeah. <clears throat> but the PPL has a lot of conversions of problem-solving skills. Um, there is some mental maths here. Um, most of it tends to come in the... You'll get weird questions like, you, you know, a plane has its altimeter set at a certain altitude and the airfield it's landed on um, is under a different barometric pressure than the one you've got. You know. um, you know, what local pressure would you need to to correctly read the height of the airfield? Like, that kind of weird mental... Oh, God. It's like one of those weird puzzles. You'll get stuff like that. They were the ones I hated the most. <laughs> so you'll, you'll have to convert between, like, different pressure settings and also between, um, like, QFE and Q and H. They'll throw that kind of stuff in along with the temperature thing. And stuff that messes with your head, like as a plane descends, the temperature rises, therefore the pressure does what? <laughs> and stuff like this. Or if it reads if it reads two thousand feet at a temperature of eighteen Celsius and you're descending downwards to twenty four Celsius, what will the pressure setting read? On Q and H and they're giving you QFE. So it's just one of those awkward conversions you have to do. Did you go right or left? It was left, isn't it? I left. And, well, sort of straight left over right, the yeah. I remember. Um, they're the worst ones, to be honest. There's a lot of stuff that's just memory-based. Like, air law is mostly memory. Just remembering the law, as it were. Like, like remembering the highway code. Um, there's meteorological stuff. To do with weather, which, again, is, is mostly a memory, but will be a bit of interpretation. And then there's navigation stuff where you'll have to basically plot out a, a route and calculate the duration of each leg given the wind speed. But you're, you know, you, you can use your little whizzy wheel for, for, you know, splitting the wind to tail components and things. And then when you get to the real world, what will happen is you bring out your Sky Demon, chuck your route in, and it'll just calculate it all for you. And you'll be like, there you go, I win. That's generally how it goes. Like, mod modern tablets have completely changed the whole thing, but you still they still make you learn the old ways. <laughs> How far back do you need to come? Just about that. Uh, Kevin1980, thank you for 29 months. Uh, Anonymous Moose, I ordered a chicken and egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. <laughs> It's Friday pun day or something, or? Apparently. It's so it seems. No, you don't need to know advanced maths and physics. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. I will stop with my terrible jokes now engaging lurk mode. Phew, no more jokes. <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous Moose. Metal beams are loaded, isn't it? Yep. Everybody down now! Pops, you know I'm gonna reverse, mate. You know it. There's a gap. Well, if I'd got my wheel stuck on this really annoying thing next to me. There we go. Uh, it's an image school, you learn to calculate just like calculate in real life. Pretty much. Um, is is one of the things that you'll do. Thank you for 11 months, Michael Bond. 
like you say, that's like all the exam stuff, so that's the theory and the stuff that you need to know on top of your flying skills. It's a lot more thorough than a driving exam, let's put it that way. But then you're in charge of an aircraft, so it kind of should be. Here. Yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't actually potted a route. Oh, there you, there you are. I think I see you. You're gonna puppy uh, on me. Yeah, turn right. Stay on the road. I mean, we've only done this journey like. 60 times. <laughs> Don't trust friend requests from Hormel Foods. It might be spam. I, I, to be honest, Nightbird, I, I don't take friend requests from pretty much anyone unless I know or expecting that friend request. Don't forget your active suspension as well. Yeah, I always forget to put that on on this thing. It might make all the difference of keeping the trailer legs up. True. Uh, when you pass your PPR and you want to go on a flight, what calculations prep would you do then? Well, like I say, generally speaking, it then comes down to... Um... Wait, what? Why am I, not I didn't cut the corner, I went on the road. Yeah, but I'm just wondering why I'm stuck. Because of what do sea monsters eat? Fish and ships. You see, Nightbird, now we're back into terrible joke territory, mate. <laughs> um, what was the question I was answering? Uh, oh, t yeah. TKA, thank you for gifting two subs. Welcome back, guys. Michael Bond, thank you for 11. So after you've done your PPL, when you're doing a flight prep, you'll be looking at the weather's the first thing, because that's the thing you do quite far out. Trying to work out what days might be flyable <laughs> is half of your job. And then you're gonna you're gonna want to plot a route. And then generally speaking, if you don't know the route, you probably want to ask some people that have maybe flown that route or flown in the area. Just to say, is there any, any kind of gotchas here? If you've never landed at that airfield, same thing. Um, ask some people, what's it like? Is there any gotchas? Like, I, you know, when I flew to Cambridge, somebody said, oh yeah, uh, Cambridge. It's a bit of a pain with the gate when you go through to the FBO because you need to know the pin code. So what you do is this, which you wouldn't have known otherwise. And it's not in any bit of paper you can look at. Um, and then you basically plot on the Sky Demon and you want to look at it, look through the NOTAMs. You need to look through the NOTAMs on the day as well as in your planning because there might be a NOTAM coming up in a few days' time that may affect you, like a change in airspace or something, a restricted zone. Or somebody's... The classic one is some military aircraft are going to be doing a, a, a practice session or somebody's going to be parachuting, so you need to stay away from it. Or there's a glider launch site's going to be active that day. All the stuff that will affect you. And maybe you have to adjust your route a bit. Um, and then again on the day, you want to be checking the weather again just to make sure it's flyable. And then working out how much fuel you're going to need. And then when you get there, you've got to prep the plane, make sure you've got enough fuel, etc. If you had to PPR the airfield you're going to, you need to make that call. That's kind of how it goes. And then, if you want to shoot that as a video, <laughs> then you've got all the pain of setting all the cameras up on top of all that workload. So, it can be quite interesting. The worst conditions you've flown in. 
I think probably the worst conditions I've been in is when I think when me and Cat Strater were flying in the States in 2019 and on the way back from one of the legs a storm cell came in just came out of nowhere like it just literally flew across and we could see it he had like um, like a weather radar thing and you could see it coming in and we flew right through the heart of one particular cell because we had no choice and the plane was like just, just dropped like 10 feet in one go and bang as we went through the cell <laughs> it was like whoa that was pretty nasty rain it only lasted like 5 or 10 minutes but it was a little bit hold your breath clench your butt cheeks kind of moment and that was at night as well so that made it even better it was pitch black pitch black flying through the rain into a storm cell that's not the ideal scenario uh, he it was Ty was he was flying IFR conditions you, could, you can't fly that VFR Uh, this is the Colob truck. Need to get a cheeky refuel. Yeah, can you make that or is my trailer in the way of I back this truck up? Uh, I'll just wait for you to move. Right across the gate. <laughs> I suppose we didn't actually need to fuel up there, did we? But no, I think we generally go around the corner and get fuel. I want to move that truck to make that turn a little bit easier anyway, so... Oof. Your trailer did not like that turn at all. Yeah, I used the 10 wheels to bounce it around Volvo. Struggling for traction. There we go. Mods. Uh, we don't have any mods installed now. Well, I took it to mean mods as in game mods, not moderators, is how I took that to mean, although the sentence is ambiguous. <laughs> This is a long trial. I don't know how long it is, uh, Psych, this trailer. It's pretty big and it's full of a, a lot of heavy metal. I think it's the only 8-slot trailer in the game, it's huge. Sometimes the game likes to stutter and resets your wheel. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't give you any force feedback though, does it, Sherlock, in a, in a wheel?
I have just had a thought. We are in non-chain tyres heading for that icy, slippery 45-degree slope. It's all right, we've got pups. I'm behind you guys. They can go up front and give us some more traction. I've got the easy life so far. I'm just driving along, eating a bag of quavers. Bag of quavers, cup of tea. Yeah. It likes to give you force feedback even when your wheels are off the ground. <laughs> no, it's kebab day tomorrow for pups. Not today. Are you getting one tomorrow, pups? Depends how I feel, Paul. I woke up feeling like I've been hit by a bus this morning. Did you go sleepwalking? I mean, is it possible you say, did get I mean, hit by a bus? You didn't go sleepwalking. That's sort of... No, I did go to bed at 5 a.m. and then get up at 8. See, is Pops quiet again, or is it just me? Yeah, it's because he's in his stuffing face drinking tea mode, so he's really, really quiet. Um, it's like literally the only person in the team whose volume I have to keep changing in Discord. You're just special. I don't know, you sit further away from the mic and then sometimes you get close, or you talk quietly and then sometimes you scream. I don't know what it is, but your the volume variation is huge. I'm just special. You stuck, something? Um, yeah, but I don't know if it's because I'm caught on the wheel. lamppost. Try the wheel on lamppost. You need to winch the back of your trailer to the tree on the right. And then just nudge it over a bit. Ah, uh, there we go. I was going to say that was like a dead stop. That happened to me earlier, and it was a tree that was doing exactly the same thing. I just suddenly ground to a halt. Like, I didn't know if it was the terrain in front of me, or, you know, the trailer behind me. It was you difficult sure to pups had tell past that. his puberty? Um, I've not checked Valesia, but I'm sure he has. What a question to ask. <laughs> I, I'm kind of worried about some of these people in chapel. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the boulders on my right. Oh, yeah. Kind of regret spending $400 on a nice wheel and mount something to enjoy playing it with a controller more. Um, well, I spent more on my wheel, but I enjoy it more on a controller. If, if you drive first person in this game, it's a lot harder. Like, significantly harder. You would need track IR, you'd need to use those mirrors a lot. Um, your spatial awareness would be reduced. And that's not, in, you know, we're not even talking about the forced feedback, just actually positioning the vehicle. Yeah, you can go first person. Like, it's nothing to stop you going first person. Like, nothing's clickable, and the mirrors work mostly, but you can't adjust the mirrors. So, that's a huge problem. First person. I think I may have cut this bend. We'll see. Bye bye, tree. This truck can just stop the torsional twist of that trailer. Yeah. I can't imagine the pressure on that kingpin. <laughs> Puppies are like a penguin short legs, but his head is always higher raised. Much love, poo ups. Much love, poo ups. <laughs> Thank you, Benner. I've just become a runny meat mavenoy. Hey, pups, did um, did Quirk sort out his PC yet? Uh, no, he gets his motherboard today. Oh, I see.
next he'd be saying he's um wheels broken down Paul. <laughs> oh yeah. Man. Well, you know, if it works. <laughs> MJ, how you doing, mate? Thank you, 53. The game does have good optimization. You just hate the stutters. Yeah, I mean, Satisfactory has stutters as well. Like that one, though, that was a stutter. I mean, if, you, if it has stuttering and you go VR, I, that's not going to end well. Can't wait for satisfactory dedicated servers. Dude, if they bring out dedicated servers, they better fix the whole issue of, you know, what, what people see being reality. Because yeah. everybody seems to see different stuff. Like, towards the end of yesterday... Pops and saw me couldn't even see where I was. I would just be like teleporting around. And I'm the host, so how does that work? Oh, you're being visible. Quark doesn't need a new GPU, he's already got one of them. He's got a 3090, isn't he? Yeah. Didn't make him any faster, then. <laughs> <laughs> it made him slower. <laughs> Inaccurate marksman, 40 months of accurately hitting that purple button. How dare you steal my line? That, that's what I say to you. You're not allowed to say that. Did you grab fuel then? Yep. There's not a lot left in that. Pops, so you want to chuck some of your fuel into the back of that thing just to keep it going? Yeah. I don't think we'll need all your fuel. Uh, I've tried ACC. Amazing graphics, but awful VR. Uh, I couldn't be bothered to set my wheel up for ACC. I've seen people play it on stream. Like, usually when iRacing is down for maintenance. <laughs> Oh, come on, game. Come on. Oh, really? Can we just move the rocks now? Yeah, that was a, a wide, bumpy corner. And It's like, go over the rocks and get no traction. Or cut the trees and get stuck. Your choice. Do you want to get stuck? Or do you want to get stuck? I think I'll get stuck. No, it's not as good as getting stuck, though. Unstuck DLC, that's what we need. I'm trying to remember which way I went last time. You meant to be coming back this way. Gear slipped. Oh, Ty heard you were talking about him. Hey. Cat. I heard you were talking about him. Flipping heck, you've got your spies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, which one to use a, a tie spy? See what it did there. Okay. <laughs> Somebody asked me which, which was the worst weather I've flown in in a, in a GA plane, and I said to him, well, that, that time that we flew back from... Um, you remember, I think it was the place we had chicken wings really really nice chicken wings and we got caught at night 
flying through a storm cell. <clears throat> well, it just kind of came out of nowhere and we flew right through the middle of the red bit. Dude. Re resulting in quite a bump with the rain lashing the windscreen. That was quite interesting. <laughs> Nordic Night Fury, thank you for four years. Oh, the, I don't know if it was because we were really, really hungry or whether those chicken wings were just very, very good. But when we got there and they were just about closing, but they served us anyway, they tasted amazing. You've got the wings a number of times legit good place went out of business. No, what? Because of COVID? Oh my god. Brutal. Meep meep. Ye workers knew you came so they made a better batch. Lol. I mean, it's pretty hard keeping a place like that running when nobody's actually flying, though, right? Here we go. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll just sit at the bottom, just in case. Actually, no, I'll sit further away from the bottom, just in case. It's the ice a bit at the top that's going to be the most fun, right? But the slope's not oh. as steep at the top anyway. I'm getting some wheels slip before the ice, which is concerning. Okay. I'm stuck behind Paul, so I can't even give you a hand at the second. Oh, you're stuck behind... Well, I'm just keeping a safe distance in case a wayward trailer happens to come my way. On... On... It's not stuck, it's just the wheels are spinning and nobody's going in. Hang on. Can you get through now, Pop? Yeah. Or do you want me to move even further uh, on? Can you go a bit forward, a tiny bit, just so I can make this. Just so I don't hit your tree. All wheel drive might here. be to go to here, MJ. MJ, if you look on the. Uh... Hang on. If you, if you look here, this truck. All-wheel drive is permanently on, def lock is permanently on. What the problem is, is we don't have chains on tyres. You can't put chains on tyres on this truck. So when you hit the icy patch up there, your tyre just spins because you've got nothing to get any grip with. You good there, Summer? He doesn't I look good. I got some movement and then not very much movement. Are you winching? Yeah, I managed to catch a winch on the side. I can come past you now if you want. It's <laughs> so much. Sure. Puppy power. Hey, you're over the worst of it. He's, he's got it. He's fine. All right, pups, you need to move. Basically, the only thing that let down there was the traction on the tyres. Yep. Yeah, you got the horses, but if you can't get the horses down. Hey, at least the return journey is nice and easy. Which gear did you do this in? Um, a combination of low, 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 and low, high. Now I'm on the slippy bit.
Yeah, but the problem with that um, payout soon is that it kind of makes the game easier, doesn't it? Which is not really what I want. But I'm sure I could find a modded truck which allows chain tires and has the capabilities of this thing, but that just makes the game easier. I'd rather play it vanilla first, at least. Somebody's getting shot. I think they're dead now, Sammy. Die, you goddamn rolls, die! <laughs> Um, yeah, uh... Oh, this looks a bit busy. If I go back a bit more first... What I did was swung right round in the yard and went where Pups is parked, and then reversed across the yard and up into this bit, and then went back into the spawn zone, so... Is this the unload point here? Yeah, but I turned around before I... did stuff. Look at that, like a proper trucker, he drops the load off and then repositions his truck. Look at that. It just seems like a logical thing to do. Right, are you moving away from there? We're picking yeah, up rolls. I, I was waiting for pups, yeah. You need to craft them into rolls yeah. and then pick the rolls up. Where are these going? To the next map? Yeah. Gotta take them all the way back. We've got to take them the big seven peak now. Woo! Cover. Artillery fire. You checking some fuel in, pups, please. Oh. That's yeah. You up, Simon? Snow runner is uh, yeah. not an easy game. Yes. No, it's Right, I'm just going to go and not stop. <laughs> uh, if you tip over, I can get a crate from the other map. It's pretty close, so it's, it's not, fine. It's not going to be a choice for you, to be honest. Do you want fuel, Paul? Plus, I want to be as heavy as possible going down this hill. There you go. Thanks. I've used the speed... I just um, speed controlled using the gearbox, Paul. Yeah. What, you just didn't stick it in neutral and Leroy it? No, I didn't. Disappointed. There's a car behind us. I think I've got a cat stuck under my bonnet. There's a weird echo on this map. Uh, I don't know what's in the truck, trucking bit full to be honest. That'd be nice. Appears to be jammed on something. Why 
does this have to happen at night when I can't see what's going on? It's scripted that one. I think somehow these metal rolls are heavier than the metal beams that we used to make them. Yeah, that one, I'm just getting bogged down in your your wake kind of thing. Empire. You went left there, didn't you? Yep. So Jeff. Jeff. Isn't like Jeff's email something like Jeff at Amazon.com? I'm sure he's got a really like he talks about the email address. And I'd just love to see how many emails a minute that guy gets. Can you imagine when he started the company and when he was like, yeah, I'll just have Jeff at Amazon.com. Like, you know, that'd be fine. <laughs> I'm you clear few hundred thousand employees later. Jeff at Amazon.com. Yeah, okay. Where are we going? You need to teleport. Okay. Now, what I really need to do is pay attention. Well, I, I, you asked me as you were driving over it, so, yeah. See you, Nordic. I'm clear. Okay. Something you would love for SnowRunner would be a persistent map server. I could have a mission dispatch, like a dedicated server revolving jobs. Oh, I see what you mean. I think the, the main issue with the multiplayer in that regard is that the, the terrain deformation. Like, if you've got a persistent map and trucks are going over the same bits of land over and over I've and over again. I've gone the wrong way! The map gets deformed in that area. So I think you'd have a technical barrier to that. I'll reverse back, where are you going? Um, I'm going to do a bit of a flip around. I'm going to do a J-turn, all right? Well, we're going left. Yeah, I had different memories of this map, so... Um...
Is it the warehouse we're going to? Rolled steel factory. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Left and then up and then around on the road. Oh, I see it. Could you go back some a lot? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Who's been the naughty boy then? It's for Ross how the little man any better, Paul. Uh, Auburn, he's, uh, he's not eating yet, but he's not throwing up. So I think he's getting up. <laughs> oh, post. A very oh, it's concentrating rigid. on the rear rather than the front. You guys should be alright going down and up that road, right? Yeah, this is all main road. I mean, the hills can be fairly treacherous. We'll just have to see how we get on. That camera switch really helped as well. Yeah, that was it. That was the exact moment when I hit the pole. <laughs> yeah, let me just disorient you with the camera. How's that? That's yeah. great. Oh, Thanks. Look. Yeah, let me disorientate you, pole bang. Oh, this is a bit icy. I see wheels turning. <laughs> but I don't see no forward momentum. <laughs> Ever think about going ultra wide, Winnemum? I have ultra wide on my rig. I'm down the road if you guys need a hand. It's hard to go ultra wide in terms of streaming because he can't stream ultra wide, I don't believe. Although I'm sure they've got that on the cart at some point. Did you need me to come back? Well, I can't work out how to winch to the next thing using the Y key, and I can't not press the trigger because if I try and use the mouse to winch to something I want to, as in with the trailer, it doesn't winch with the trailer, it always winches with the truck. And I can't put the brake on because I'll probably slide, so how did you winch the trailer on to pull you forward more? Answers on a postcard. Um, I managed to. I go first person and then point the camera in the general direction and then hit the Y key and it will generally put the winch in the direction that you're looking. Okay, keep going. Did that work or? I don't know, I just put the brakes on and it held long enough for me to use the mouse. Because the Y key seems like it only ever winches from the truck. Yeah, it does, unless you're looking backwards and then it will winch from the trailer. But won't it try to winch backwards then? Well, yeah, if you're looking backwards. So how do you winch forwards from the trailer? You have to do it manually. Yeah. Or well, you, you actually use your D-pad to cycle through the connections and stuff. The what? The D-pad? Yeah, when you press attach winch, you know, yeah. you get the dots. You can use your left and right to select the point and then the up and down to do something else. So you can press the Y key and then use the D-pad? To cycle through the points, yeah. But obviously, as soon as you press up on the D-pad, it um, stops your throttle and puts the handbrake on. 
Scannyman, thank you for 10 months. You're welcome. Uh, tree stump sticking out the barrier on the right hand side. No, they weren't tired soon. Um, yeah, it was Ubi Games originally. They, they then sold it to Sabre. Spetsas was developed by Sabre Interactive, Pavel, published by UV and Focus on. Did you go straight up? No. Yeah. Yeah, Pavel was the original guy in. And then he had a falling out with UV. And that's where it all went very quiet for a while. And then the publishing rights got sold. And that's when the game got picked up. And then Mud Runner came out. And then after that, they kind of moved it on to the same engine as, uh, I think it's World War Z. The same graphics engine that's got ported over onto this, which then removed all the fog and increased the view distance and stuff. I should really pay attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, it's... Um a bit of a tricky hill climb S bend situation. Yeah, but reading chat, answering chat, and not focusing on driving yeah, yeah, yeah. is not the best thing to do. <laughs> I know, sorry. I know. It's always an excuse with you, isn't it? Yeah, that's what you said to Pops last night. Wait, what? When you're getting beat at snooker. Oh, can we not talk about that? Well, you asked. I wasn't gonna. Yeah, I had to winch the truck to the right to get it round the crash barrier, but you seem to have bounced it off it, so... Mm, kind of. <laughs> All that thought. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, see, I went too far left, so I couldn't then turn yeah, this road and this trailer don't meet very well. It's a suspension race. Well, it was. Yes, it was raised. What happened at the snooker, Ken? Yeah, but Pubs doesn't want to talk about it, Ken. Nothing. He was having a he was having a bad a bad game. You know a snooker player has a bad game. Pops was having a bad game. No no that was the other day move without when I missed no century. I got eighty seven break and missed the last three colours. Well missed the blue. Now I know what it feels like when Dennis Taylor missed the black. He missed it first, and then Steve Davis missed it, and then Dennis Taylor missed it, and then Steve Davis missed it, and then Dennis Taylor pointed it. They both missed the black. Just that somebody missed it more than the other. <laughs> right, I've got the three medium pipes, so whether you want to um, look at like the small pipes or something for the other factory mission okay let's, uh, let's unload this where are you perhaps uh why what's up well i didn't know if you were coming down this road or not oh uh, no you're good just doing my own thing until i know what we're doing 
No, I didn't want to charge up the road if you were coming down it. Uh, I did beat Shower Dong again, yeah. <laughs> I beat Shower Dong, but Bang Jong Wee is quite difficult to beat, apparently. These are the names of the Chinese place. This is, I'm just saying, this is how they're pronounced. They're not spelled anything like this. But the, the Fang, Fang Zhong Wei and Shower Dong. If I play snooker on stream, you'll hear the referee say the names. That's how he says them. So I, I play as, I play as Fang Zhong Wei, don't I? But, uh, I'm thinking them. Sam, eh? You just pulled. <laughs> yeah, I think. Um... No, right? Yeah, Chow with all. Yeah. Um... God, this camera. Yeah, P Pops plays a shower dong. Yeah, because he, he normally announces a low score, doesn't he? So. I don't play a shower dong anymore, though, do I, Paul? Do you no. know? I got, I got uh, Xing Tao, isn't he? He's Who? what? Xing Tao, is he now? Oh, I need to. Or as the commentator says. <laughs> yeah, Zhao Gudong. That's. Zhao Gudong is, um, is Xiao Dong. That's Zhao Gudong. And Fang Zhongwei is the other one. And then there's, there's three in total, because I play one and Pups keeps switching between two. I'm not going to say what the commentator says on stream, Paul. Because I'll just burst out laughing. Well, I just haven't turned off anyway. No, I meant the name. Where do you get these names from, guys? Dude, these are the people, these are real snooker players' names. Yeah. The real Chinese snooker players' names. And they're in the game Snooker 19, which is the game that we play. Uh, I forgot what I'm picking up there. <laughs> Um, if you want to swap your mission out from Factory Reservoirs to the other factory. Okay. Uh, let's see, Factory Reservoirs, Factory Sewage Treatment Facilities. Yeah, that'd be that one to unloading zone three. You should, I believe, have enough to do that for small pipes and two beams in the crafting bench. I can definitely take two beams. Four small pipes. I've crafted all four, but I can't. I don't think I'll be able to carry all four. Maybe I can. No, that's that's fine. We can dispatch a puppy. I'm grabbing. Wait, what am I grabbing? I just crafted some other stuff that we need, and there's a truck here that I need to move out of the way so we can turn around in the yard. Two small pipes from where I am, pups. Okay. I was going to say I can use a flatbed, but I can't because they're not really small pipes, are they? No, no they're pipes that are the same length as metal beams. Yeah, there are two slot each. Uh, yeah, Radu, you just edit the file to fix it. Hey, Ferret. There's, um... I think, was it, I think Pubs found an article, I can't remember. No, Sammy did. Sammy did, right. Uh, so Sammy some... did. Sammy's currently sliding on a hill, so <laughs> I'm, I'll find it in a minute. So we found an article where you basically go and search for a couple of bits in a file and then you change the values from like 15 to 2 or something and it fixes it. How good is Shower Dong? Well, he had, a, he had a rough game yesterday. Also, there's the pocket of death, isn't there, Paul, that no ball would go into. <laughs> the bottom right-hand pocket. Yeah. Sometimes seems to tighten up randomly.
just a ferret bomb. I'm sure I saw him streaming this morning playing the most random game. Fights in tight spaces? It might have been. It was. So well, that was no. He's playing that last night when I looked. I think. Yeah. I think he's playing something even more weird this morning. Hey, he's a variety caster. What can you say? Yeah, but he, yeah, but he really, like variety plays the most random games, like the ones <laughs> nobody's heard of. Well, like, you finally didn't get blamed for a game because um, they, they remastered Spyro, and that's from like the childhood and stuff, and it was on sale on Steam, and I bought it because Ferret was playing it. Lord. So I blame Ferret, where you usually get the blame. So I remember the very first Spyro. Me and Mr. Yeah. Squirrel used to play that on console. Well, my partner walked in and went, yeah, this looks like a game I could play. And it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Kitsy game. <laughs> 